This is the number one mistake people make when trading with Market Cipher. And guys, Market Cipher is a very, very powerful indicator, but you need to know how to use it. And if you iron out these little details, like this one mistake that I'm about to tell you, you're going to become a lot more of a profitable trader. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you're returning and you don't know what I'm about to say, then shame on you. But guys, today we're going to talk about the order of operations, okay? There is a very clear way that you need to look at market cipher it is crucial for your success okay there's a lot going on in this indicator and you need to understand the order of operations so first things first i don't use the rsi i honestly don't think it's it's useful we got plenty of information here but we need to know how to dissect it and so this is the order that you are supposed to be looking at these signals on market cipher and so what do i mean when i say order of operations well our vwap which is this yellow line here is leading for our momentum waves okay so vwap is leading for mom or momentum waves okay what do i mean by that if we zoom in we can see that before our momentum wave clips to the downside our vwap clips to the downside so vwap is leading for momentum waves and your momentum waves or mother is leading for your money flow okay so just like we did with the VWAP, VWAP is leading for momentum waves. Momentum waves is leading for the money flow. When the momentum waves head down, the money starts to head down, okay? So our order of operations, our VWAP is leading for momentum waves. Momentum waves is leading for the money flow. And money flow is king. We can see very clearly that money flow is king. When money starts to come into whichever asset you're looking at, crosses from the red to the green, that is when we have the move to the upside. Money flow is king. Don't forget that. All right. So now that we know the order of operations, we need to understand the number one mistake that most people do. And I can't really blame you because honestly, it's poorly advertised. Crypto face, if you see this, I'm sorry, bro. It is poorly advertised. Let me, let me help. And so the number one problem that most people have when they're trying to trade with Market Cipher are focusing too much on the dots, okay? I'm not saying the dots are not important, and I'm not saying that you can't trade using the dots, but you need to know how to look at them. So we're on the hourly time frame, and a big misconception is that Market Cipher B is a leading indicator, and there are elements of it that are leading, like money flow. However, the dots in itself is not leading, okay? Let me explain. We're on the one hour time frame right now. And earlier today, we had a 5% move, give or take, to the downside, okay? This red dot was produced as a result of this dump. And so if you saw a red dot and you said, all right, momentum is going to the downside, we're gonna short it, and you shorted from like this point right here, you're gonna be underwater right now, unless you shorted from the exact top. But if you're trading based on these red dots, you wouldn't have shorted from the exact top because this red dot, was produced as the dump was happening. If we go back in time, you can see very clearly that Market Cipher B is looking super, super bullish, right? We have money flow coming up and we have a nice green dot. So what happens if you longed it? If you longed it, you would have gotten absolutely destroyed. And look at how the red dot produced as the move was happening. So it's not a leading indicator, right? We didn't get the red dot and then the dump happened. We got the red dot somewhere during the extremely high dump, right? But look at what happens after. If we continue to fast forward, look at how your dots are not leading. At this moment in time, we already had a move back up of 4% without getting a green dot. If I forward a couple more times to basically where we are now, you can see that the green dot happened three or four hours after the dump already happened and after already, a 3.73% move. So is that to say that we're not going to go higher? No, because there are other ways to identify momentum, which we're going to go over in this video. But the dots in themselves are not a leading indicator. And by the way, guys, I do have a free Discord. The link is in the description down below. And I have a free VIP section that you can join by DMing my Geobot up here, the four-digit code that you're going to hear throughout this video. The first digit is going to be a six. Now, Geo, if the dots are lagging, how can we combat it? Well, guys, I'm glad you asked. I'm going to show you, and I'm going to answer that question with this 15-minute example, okay? I want you to see right now, currently, Momentum wave is high up and money flow is very thick, assuming that we are going to continue the move to the upside. Watch as I press forward on the candle. So at this moment in time, Bitcoin pumped 1%, okay? Before even showing us the green dot. So Bitcoin pumped, no green dot. If I go forward another candle, yes, we continued higher, 
but we're only getting the green dot now. We already missed 1% of the move. So you can see very clearly that our green dots and our red dots are a lagging indicator. So now what happens next? If I fast forward and you're waiting based on confirmations, right? This green dot in the previous candle was printing. It was not printed. So if you're waiting for confirmations, then you could have just longed at this point right here, right? You could have longed after we printed the candle, indicating that momentum would continue to the upside. But look at what happens. Oh, look at that. We're already coming back down. And we actually came down almost a whole percent, 0.68%, before producing this red dot. But I thought that the green dots were leading. It should have kept going up, right? Well, no, because it's a lagging indicator. And so our objective is to front run the red dot. And there are two ways to do that. The first way, I already told you at the intro of the video, the order of operations. Pay attention to your VWAP. If VWAP is heading down, why would you believe that we could have a continued move to the upside if VWAP is leading for your momentum waves? right? You wouldn't. You would expect there to be a red dot. And so that's one way that you can front run the red dots. And we know that the red dots are eventually going to be a leading indicator for our money flow. And at the end of the day, we are to be watching the money flow. Five, the second way that you can front run these red dots are by looking down on previous time frames. Market Cipher is a very comprehensive indicator. It is not as simple as it is advertised to be. If it was, you wouldn't have made it this far in the video, which by the way, thank you for watching this far. So now this is where things get interesting, right? So if the 15th, right, we're trying to front run the red dot, we can come to smaller time frames like the three minute time frame and start to look for divergences and say, well, I want to front run the 15. I know that the VWAP on the 15 is aiming to the downside. And so to me, it makes more sense to short on a three minute red dot, for example, in anticipation of our 15 minute red dot printing because the VWAP was showing us that that's likely what was going to happen. And that's why guys, a lot of the times they tell you to have an executional time frame and they tell you to have an environmental time frame. They tell you to have it, but they don't explain why. And the truth is guys, is your executional time frame is used to front run your environmental time frame. And when you get really good at market cipher, you can use the one to front run the three, to front run the 15, to front run the one hour to front run the four hour. And that's how you can turn a scalp trade into a swing trade. And so by just knowing these very simple concepts that your red dot and your green dot are not leading indicators, it is a lagging indicator, and that you can front run it using the VWAP and remembering our order of operations. And you can also front run it by using time frames to the left. You can save yourself a lot of money. And guys, this works on all time frames. I'm using the one minute as an example, the three minute as an example. But the same remains true on the six hour, right? How many times have you shorted? Look at this. We shorted a red dot right at the bottom. And then you get a green dot right after. And we get however much percent this is to the upside. 7% move to the upside, right? So it's the same logic, okay? It's the same logic. 100% there are ways to determine whether or not the momentum will continue. And I have very comprehensive videos on that. So go check my tutorials on YouTube. I also have a boot camp that goes really in depth. And I sort of bring you into the multiverse of, of Market Cypher B. Guys, I've been staring at this indicator for three, hour, three hours, for three years straight, okay? I don't even watch television. This is my TV. I've been staring at it for three years. I know the ins and the outs of it. And the best analogy I have for how good I am at Market Cypher is when you first started learning how to drive, you used to think about what everything is doing and whatever. And now when you drive, you're just really good at it and you don't think, you know, you put the car in park, you put the car in drive. Left side is brake, right side is gas, whatever else, you know, your, your blinkers, whatever. And you're not thinking about how you drive. I don't think about how I drive. I can look at Market Cipher for two seconds and build a narrative just based on Market Cipher alone on what I think is going to happen. And I believe that once you correct this one mistake that people are using and you understand the order of operations, I believe you're going to become a lot more profitable of a trader, especially if you're a scalper. And by the way, guys, in the VIP, I give you guys exact levels that I'm looking at and exactly what I think Market Cipher is going to do. I update this thing like 10 times a day. So of course, make sure you join. The next digit is going to be, what is the next digit? It's going to be a three. I am a scalper and my community are scalpers and we take many, many trades a day using Market Cypher B. And the best exchange, in my opinion, especially for scalping, 100% without a doubt is Mexi. Guys, they have a 0.03% taker fee, 0% maker fee. If you don't know what that means, you shouldn't be trading. But if you do know what that means, then you know that you can basically trade for absolutely free. And of course, 
it is a free way for you to help support me. And if you choose to do so, I very much thank you. So guys, just remember your order of operations, okay? Order of operations, order of operations, tattoo it to your forehead, to your girlfriend, to your wives, to your dog. I don't care. Order of operations always, especially if you are scalping. And guys, I have a complete tutorial on Market Cipher B. If you're interested in checking that out, it is over an hour, but it is fire content and it's going to be right there at the top left of your screen. This here is the last two digits of the VIP code right over here. And I'll see y'all later.